From Star Television in Freetown, this is the National News Bulletin. Hello and welcome. First, the top stories. The management of Boluri has engaged of radio and television stations on some of the activities since the expansion of the terminal. Worldwide, we are represented in 104 countries. In Africa, in 45 countries. The National Madingo Union has endorsed Alaji Kanja Sisi, Minister of Energy, as their president at a well-attended ceremony held at the Katsuko Conference Hall in Freetown. I feel very good. I feel very good and happy. I'm glad if you the people that see in me and uh, they trust me, they get confidence in me. The Sierra Leone Buyui Limited on Friday, 26 April, took media practitioners and journalists on a media tour to showcase the 278 billion worth of investment at the company's production facility to enhance a better understanding on the activities of the company in the area of production and productivity. Since 92, 1962, we pride ourselves with that rich heritage tied to the history of the country with a vision to grow with Sierra Leone. The philanthropist and president of the Timni Community Development Organization, Alaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara, has held a solidarity peace mission meeting with Muslims and other residents of the Waterloo community aimed at fostering cordial relationship among members of the Masjid Muhajirian Mosque with a view to finding solution by way of addressing problems affecting the growth and development of the mosque. Can really with the delegation for Khan preach national cohesion and uh, uh, peace among uh, the population of uh, the people of Basa Town, of Waterloo in general. And in sports, the Roquel Commercial Bank has concluded a one-day inter-house athletic sports meet at the Roquel Beach, Godrich, aimed at identifying talent that will represent the bank in interbank competitions. All these making the headlines. And now the news in detail with me, Leonora Jawara. Now the management of Boluri on Thursday, 25th April 2019 has updated heads of radio and television stations on some of the activities since the expansion of the terminal. Let's have a look. To celebrate on 2022, 200 years. Worldwide, we are represented in 104 countries. In Africa, in 45 countries. Annual investments that we are doing around Africa is average of 500 million a year. Colore as a company is presented as you could imagine in many countries around the world and the ports as well in Europe, Asia, Central America and Africa. <clears throat> Today we have as well two big investments ongoing. One is the, in the Ghana and one is in Ivory Coast <clears throat> that we are as well doing. <clears throat> something similar as we did here, support projects, support expansions. But there is a difference between human being and being human. It's not the same. The reason why we have 99% almost of Sierra Leone in our company. We have only few expatriates, human resource manager, Madame and Morgan, will explain you and answer into the details. Once when we are coming on the questions, whoever is around me will answer. You can be sure that I didn't call them this morning and prepare what to answer, what to not answer. This is not my style. All these three entities, we have 402 members of staff um, representing them. We have, just for a breakdown, I have 319 for Freetown Terminal, where we are now, and we have 20, 
four for SARS and 59 for ETL. If you do the math, you see that it's 402. And with the total, I want to take you back to 2018 because we just started the year then. There's very little to report in. So um, last year, the total staff, permanent staff, members of staff that were hired were um, 20, 31 of 31 members of staff. The non-permanent were 25. Non-permanent is either temporary or fixed contract or um, just a short um, contract as well. We have 17 people that left the company through dismissal, termination, retirement, and I mentioned the last time that our minimum wage is far above the required minimum wage of the government. The Madingo Union, as on Saturday, 28th April 2019, endorsed Alaji Kanja Sisi, Minister of Energy, as their president at a well attended ceremony held at the Katko Conference Hall in Freetown. Hilton John takes up the story. The National Madingo Union, as endorsed Alaji Kanja Sisi, as the president at a well attended candid ceremony at Katko Hall in Freetown on Saturday, 28th April 2019. The crowning ceremony was graced by Madingos from various regions of the country. The current Minister of Energy has been very dedicated to the progress and achievement of the Madingo people in the country, and his contributions have not gone unnoted, according to some of the tribal men at the event. Both this is including all the other segments now. But all the other districts and all the other leaders for endorse your brother, Alagi, Doctor, Kanja, you see. As, as national chief for the Manigo. For all the Manigo that will end up in North, we all got a Christian, nobody. No good able for ladies, my people in this country here yeah, will pass and have Kanja Most of the chiefs and delegates from across the country have endorsed Alaji Kanja CC and they have promised their unflinching support for the progress of the union. Well, I mean, not to me, a point. I mean, this from the speeches, just like how myself, the team, the people, and the other together, and appoint me. Now so myself, now so I think say myself, the young people in tribal community decide say they want for appoint them as the chief of the Mende. You talk about the team of the Mandingo. You talk about national cohesion. You think say that go work within the Mandingo now we don't be the national president? Well, I hope it does, because that's exactly what they preach. I want for make sure say we bring everybody together. In his contribution, Omar Fofana called on the members to unite for the development of the Madinka Union. Noting that all members should put their grievances aside and work with the new leadership. It described the gathering as a milestone in the Maringo arrangement of the country. One of the elders in the union, Mohamed Lamin Fofana, called on the members to support the newly endorsed president, Alaji Kancha Sisi, not by harassing him unnecessarily, rather should embrace their various walks of life. On his part, according to Alaji Kancha Sisi, he said he feel humble concerning the key interests and support he has received from the members. I feel very good. I feel very good and happy. I'm glad it's because the people that see in me and uh, they trust me, they get confidence in me. So I'm so happy that uh, today they can endorse me as the national president of the Maringa Union. So it's a new you go bring to the union. Now we don't get the responsibility as the president. Well, the mandate to the people they give me is that uh, they want uh, to cry for unity. The university in Maringo Jamat is quite a small bit, and that there is need for us to all come together, bring all the different factions together. And then I mean, major, major assignment so that uh, Maringo will talk with one language, can be seen, and protect the culture, the tradition, the language. And uh, so anything we get for the Maringo is to protect them. That's going to be an assignment to the people So it's going to be a short term plan, finally. We short-term plan of putting the system in place, the structure, they can look at the constitution, 
a look at the various structures of the union, the short-term plan, and then, and then appoint a cabinet who will work with me for all of this because there is no way we want anything to do this thing. Plus, no, I get, no. plus, I get a team of people, dedicated people. So far, they see a lot of people who are very happy and willing for work with me. He added that when he was approached to lead, he consulted his wife, family, and by extension, President Julius Madabiu, before accepting the crowning. For Star TV News in Freetown, I am Milton John reporting. While well, you still watching the news bulletin here on Star TV, now, the Sierra Leone Bugiwi Limited on Friday, 26th April 2019, took media practitioners and journalists on a media tour to showcase the $278 billion worth of investment and the company's production facility to enhance a better understanding on the activities of the company in the area of production and productivity. Let's have more in this. On behalf of the management team, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Sierra Leone Limited to tour our recent investments in facilities of grade in a go house and to view our recently overhauled packaging board line consisting 3.5 billion euros. That's the packaging line upgrade. Since 92, 1962, we pride ourselves with that rich heritage tied to the history of the country with a vision to grow with Sierra Leone to improve the efficiency of our bottling operations and to ensure our service to our customers and consumers into the future. In January 2019, Sarimbo Limited conducted a massive overall and extensive maintenance of our bottling packaging line. Based on plan, scheduled maintenance, manufacturer's recommendation and international standards. We employ the services of Kohl's, a German a German firm that specializes in the supply of and modernization of such plants, together with a large team of Sierra buoys, local team, Sierra engineers and technicians, to conduct the process which came to completion in the first week of February. The project, which immediately follows the most expensive buoy expansion of upgrade in facilities, is another large investment of the company in the economy and manufacturing sector of Sierra we took another major step in the improvement of our facilities in the journey of reaching state-of-the-art status. Today, we are also excited to showcase to you our latest investments in facilities upgrade, which are part of a large modernizing and expansion program of over 278 billion euros. These investments are further enhanced our production capacity, and with this, we are confident that we can meet ever-increasing consumer demand for the upcoming years. This investment will also make sure that we maintain the highest quality of our products. Among others, Star Blaga Beer, Music Beer, Guinness Foreign Excel Stout, Salon Beer, 100% locally produced sorghum. Yeah? And what will happen? The lead gets. The pillar goes into that. They, they can't go into the pillar. What is the meaning? India, what is the meaning? Empty bottle. Empty bottle inspection. So what will happen? This bottle is either empty. Empty. Okay. Previously, you need to go lock bar manually yourself. But you can see on the screen, you control all the process. The equipment is what they do, you clean. You they clean the machine with the over there. So you didn't know how you go. Mm -hmm. So like all this, this, uh, then you need to know how they see outside. Mm -hmm. All the control by this, this monitor. How are they cleaning from inside? Hmm? How are they cleaning from inside? Well, um, we get the process of CIPS. Yeah? CIPS. Yeah. Clean please. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. For any, for example, like now the one filter Martina. So they need for clean very, very well. They use caustic acid. Okay? Disinfectant, okay, for like, ensure, say, we don't get any 
and yeah. The philanthropist and president of the Timni Community Development Organization, Nalaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara, has held a Solidarity Peace Mission meeting with Muslims and other residents of the Waterloo community. The event, which took place on Friday, is aimed at fostering cordial relationship among members of the Masjid Muhajirian Mosque with a view to finding solution by way of addressing problems affecting the growth and development of the mosque. Andrew Bressman has more and in our reports. Addressing worshippers and residents of Basa Town in Waterloo, the philanthropist and president of the Timney Community Development Organization and the United National Community Development Council, Alaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara, said his visit to Waterloo was to preach about peace and tranquility, which according to him will help strengthen unity in the Waterloo community and its immediate environs and encourage all residents of Waterloo to help in rebuilding national coalition and unity within the Western Area Rural District. Can really, with the delegation for Can, preach national cohesion and uh, uh, peace among uh, the population of uh, the people of Basa Town, of Waterloo in general. Because uh, there is a small cham cham I do am using my organization, the Community Development Council organization, and uh, the United National Development, the Community Development Council, Sierra Leone and the United National Community Development Organization. For there, we see how best we talk to the people then, let them know, say, all is not lost, let them come together and see how best and we will help in the development process of the country. The Timni tribal head of the Western Area Urban District, King Hassan Kamara, commended the peace initiative of Alaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara and reiterated the need to support his plans and vision for the growth and development of peace and stability in Waterloo amongst Muslims and other residents in the area. He described Alaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara as a man with foresight, intelligence, God-fearing and action development-oriented personality who has patriotically contributed to the development of Sierra Leone. He starts this scene in part of the North Crown Night as president who night self together all the 16 servers, they all they make one umbrella. That's what he do in a free term. And we make that organization, we all come up together. We all we work together, we not to in politics, not to end, not to do team, but self for unite the nation because of the problem we've been there after. The election, which is ultimately happened, then God gave and says that we should make it do this. And you do them, and you the the succeed partner. And we all support them, we glad for that. Before ever not, he don't come, become a president of the team, the community development council. So that goes to say, something and God will God will happen in this country, and God must happen in this country. In an interview with the village headman of Basa Town, Momo Dumbuya, he thanked and commended Alaji Mohamed Isa Katko Kamara for mediating on the problems that have been affecting the development of the Basa town and the entire Waterloo community. I tell him plenty thank you from Kawa. Um, I tell him passionately about we come with about plenty thank you as a local safely, I believe we come back back safely. I'm really happy, I really uh, compensate her. Um, I like you to come for can solve the problem of the mocks in Abasato and the people in Abasato uh, I will tell God thank you. He came today. We don't care address we. We all did together as one. We all don't bind by myself. We all don't tell I do fine. We won't talk fine. So we tell him plenty for that. We he can have a certain. We he can solve the problem. So we tell him. The visit of the president of the Timney Community Development Organization clearly demonstrates passion for peace, tranquility, and development, and a true patriot in nation building. Andrew Bestman reporting. Well, to round up and use bulletin, let's turn our attention to sport. As the Roquel Commercial Bank has concluded a one-day inter-house athletic sports meet at the Roquel Beach Godrich, aimed at identifying talents that will represent the bank in interbank competitions. Hilton John has more. Thanks, Dillian and Ajawa in the studio. For some sporting news, we start to look at scene. In athletics, Goke Commercial Bank 
has concluded a one-day sports meet at the Rokel Beach in Gorgich. With over 10 sports and disciplines in terms of different activities we saw in the one-day sports meet. According to some of the bankers, they are very happy with the initiative from the top management. Move House was crowned champions at the end of the event. They scored 351 points. He has the highlights of the one-day event. <laughs> Said it's necessary for us as a staff. It's very necessary because as this is not part of exercise, and we go to the banker for the exercise. You think it is good for us as a staff? Well, we have decided for organizer because we say needed for bringing the staff together. Needed for making sure the staff are physically fit. Needed for promote competitive nature inside the bank, inside the staff then. Needed for let the bankers they understand, say, we get for be smart, astute, strategic and dynamic. So in sports, they exude all the attributes they are so. You they see your opponent and you strategize how for win. You are not only about winning at it, it's about competing. So we they, we they take the institution, place them into activity, into action. We we'll go begin for work back every day. We get competitors then, we get customers what they look for. So from this kind of spirit here, so this kind of physical fitness, we they able to get people them for start for operate more dynamically as bankers inside the institution. So how many houses and compete in this sports meet? And the four houses then. You know, we name the houses after previous man man managing directors them, and we get four colors them. We're very, very, very unique to the house them. And we believe, see, then four houses then they are so today we go find the first one. We go historically win the first sporting event and then the angle there on top for the next 12 months. So at the end of the sports meet, what are they ever achieve as a bank? As a bank, we achieve two things. One, with the bank, we get more visible. Two, staff them able to coordinate better. Three, staff they able to think more dynamically. And this is a physical fitness here, where they make staff feel stronger, better, faster, for able to be more alert for doing their work. When I go use this sport for select the better athletes, we're going to represent the bank? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this sport could be a platform for pick out the, the best, um, should I say, participants for different events. Um, this is an outdoor activity where they do so. We're in season camp, we'll get indoor sporting activities. Um, it will be equally useful and beneficial to we. But most of all, we'll try to create a platform for different approach to banking. Not only will they try to make a profit for shareholders, them, um, when are people Australian and the government Australian, but also they try to make the public then come begin for get fun with we. Do sports with you, play with we, and we bring banking in a different way to the masses. We're not going to do this every year. By God in power. We we'll bank the, uh, the team we organize this year school. Special reference to Antijajua, to Augusta, to Shaka, and also to Wales. Let's go!
And then the statement is the managing director, Dr. Ekundayo Gilpin of Gokel Commercial Bank. More news in the local scene in tennis, the Sierra Leone Tennis Association has concluded their first national championship under the leadership of Kelvin Kelly as the president of the association and Ali Muzin as the vice president. Balu won overall championship for the female. According to the athletes, they are very happy with this year's competition. Here's the highlight. Just accept the defeat because everything are just in a match, I win or lose. And I try to work hard and everything I'll be mistaken to see it. For me, I'll be mistaken to see it again. So, you didn't say a sponsor defeat of you? I think they're going to defeat and not be careful. They're just staying in the back and allow the man for playing your own game. I think they're going to make a loss today. We've well, seen you today, you've been in high gear, then you didn't see moment, so what's the moment on? I swear, I just, I don't know, I think I said, I look, as the game, they're going to look at it as small and we relax and put myself under pressure. You don't think you need to work more than I play? I, need, I think I need to work more. Need to more. What do you expect from the association? I don't expect good things from the association because the association is going to try. They don't try to do good things. So I hope they keep on the good work and make more tournaments. I mean, it's been a very exciting atmosphere. You can see the revival of tennis. Everybody has been out here from the corporate world, from the tennis family. This is a remarkable event and we are really happy that tennis is here and here to rise to higher heights. So what next for the association? Next for us is to continue the monthly junior tennis tournaments and the nationals after the rains. And also we have other construction projects going on. What do you think the athletes need, need to work on for us to see more better results in future competitions? Well, our athletes need to work on their fitness they need to work more on their tactics, but the coaches will do all those technical uh, competencies and uh, improve their capacity. But they've done very well and kudos to them and the coaches. So why the President's Trophy on the first day? The President's Trophy, because uh, we are tying this to the Independence Anniversary, which comes up every year. So this President's Cup, you can see that there's no name on it. So it's for any president that comes to power, the present and the future. This is going to be an annual tournament. Same for the First Ladies Trophy as well. It's going to be an annual event. I was surprised. I was surprised we have so much talent that we're not going to take advantage of. It. And this shows that we have so much talent in this country, not only in tennis and everything, but we already use them with the proper mechanism, the proper uh, management, we uh, suppose for inspire the young ones and all those people they need is inspiration and I didn't inspire them for giving them not the money awards and everything and sponsorships we get a long way to go and really I'm very proud so what next for the association as the tournament don't come to an end we're only 100 days you know even each 100 days in, in, in this management ship and we've done a lot so you can imagine after 12, 12 months and I've, been, I've said that before and I give you one year now we don't begin to turn heads and uh, some banks, institutional compression, don't be in country for sponsorship. And uh, we will show for say in one year, we will stop for use your own personal money, we will begin use the club money and we promise you now, this club and this association will be one of the household uh, uh, names in this country. Congratulations to the executive of the CLA Loan Tennis Association and keep it up, the athletes, this is good for us to see more competition for our athletes across the country, more especially in the long tennis family. In the international scene, Chelsea secured one of the goals against Manchester United to close the gap against Tottenham. It could be recalled that Tottenham they were defeated in the answer of Bondi. Here is the highlights of Chelsea game. Centrally, the защитники пришли, и как неудачно играет Дехея, и гол, и гол, один один. Что творится, Давид Дехея? Я не верю, я не верю в то, что этот великий вратарь мог такое совершить. Удар с 30 метров, простейший для вратаря его класса, и мяч отскакивает, да еще так далеко. И Дехея поднимаясь. 
It's a better performance for Manchester United. Could be called that nine matches, only two win for Manchester United. So getting a point against Chelsea. Let's see whether they'll qualify for the Champions League next season. Coming up on Tuesday in the Champions League, Ajax will be playing against Tottenham or Sport. Tottenham will be hosting Ajax in the Champions League first phase of the semi-finals. This is a big contest in the semi-finals of the Champions League. And we'll be seeing mighty Barcelona football team will be in attendance. Let's see where, what Barcelona will deliver against Liverpool or Chelsea Man City in the English Premier League. That's all for sports for today. Back to you, Leonel Joe, in the studio. And that's a stand news here on Channel 21. Thank you for watching. I am Leonora Jawara. Do stay with us if you can.